Welcome back. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Holland for Life. I'm Sean. Nina's inside. Today we're reporting from Tavernier. We moved from Key Largo, and this is our new spot. This is our first time going out fishing from this location, which we're used to because we always head out of Tavernier, which that was one of the main reasons why we decided to move. But this will be our first trip out of our house in Tavernier and we are practicing for a couple tournaments we have in July. So yes, the targeted fish is mahi, our favorite fish to catch during the summertime. We're thrilled, we're pumped, we're excited, got the rods ready, got bait, gassed up, ready to go. Stay with us guys, thank you for watching. First things first, let's turn on these lights. Go to the cutting table, light these bad boys up. Ooh, we love this. Hopefully tomorrow, filleting fish up here on this cutting table. And I would like to tell you, there are some huge, huge tarpon and mangrove snapper in this channel. They just don't seem to eat, bite, or like anything aside from human food. So I haven't caught any yet, but anyways, enough of that. Time to get these rods in the boat. Hmm. That is nice. Beautiful sunsets. So these bad boys are our go-to rods, the ones we reach for first. Yes, all Shimano. It's a smooth product. I do like pen, but I'm digging these Shimano. We'll grab these casters, light tackle for the seaweed lines, which hopefully we find some. There's a lot of people catching mahi now. Seen a lot of good reports. So hopefully we'll have our own tomorrow. Right, I feel like you could just never have too many rods. Most times we don't use 50% of the rods. Everything I have in there right now is all spinner rods. But we need some trolling rods. We'll look at our view from our new house. We're in love. Another day in the neighborhood. We are gonna be offering charters in the near future so if anyone's interested send us a message about to take you guys out also i don't think i really even talked about this too much our boat is a sea pro 239 it's got a yamaha 300 it's got good space to fish in the back open fisherman hard top a little restroom, cabin type of deal. Storage in the floor, storage on both sides. Windless anchor. And we love it. It does pretty good offshore. Again, it's a Sea Pro 239. And this one here is a 2022. does everything we need so we're pretty happy with it today we are looking for the mahi <clears throat> same setup as usual nothing's changed just the location home mahi join us guys keep watching let's do it
at it, baby. Here at 807 feet of water. Off the top in here, you know we're out of humps, baby. And this is a mahi. Stay tuned, watch. About to get pulled up. No friends? Right there or short? One to the fork, right? Yeah, to the fork. Keeps. Yay! We got Juju some mahi fingers. Yeah. Yes. In the box. Make a right turn and go back the same way we came. We've been out here for a little while now. Really haven't found any seaweed, birds, or anything that shows signs of mahi. Although we did catch one on a little patch of seaweed and one bird. Um, we found scattered seaweed at 753 feet of water. Stay tuned, hopefully we hook up. Check your bait and all. Yeah. They definitely hit it. It's a mine! Woo! Get him, Nina. Please bring us some friends. Don't be alone. We definitely hooked up. <laughs> Yes. Yes, baby. Woo. Yeah. 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 He is on a big mahi! Oh my god, I saw the, I saw the shadow! He's gonna jump! He's gonna jump! Get him, baby, get him! <laughs> oh my god, John, it's a big, big boy! Yeah, for Nice mahi mahi. That's definitely a keeper. And he's still fighting. Yeah. You walk back. I think we can flip him in. Yeah. You walk back. That, that was. Oh, baby! <laughs> the nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, baby. Good job. Yes, let's do it. No need to measure him. In the box. Yay! All right, let's reset. I'm gonna leave out the trolling rod. 
and I'm gonna throw out the jig. See who comes out to play. So we stopped here at this patch of seaweed to see if maybe we can find some mahis on the way back in. We're still at about 622 feet. So let's see what we can find out here. Sean already threw out some chunk bait. I'm working with a bucktail. But no signs of anything yet. Not even the little jacks. It's like it's Nina's show today. Oh no, he got off. He got off? He got off. Are you sure? Look, he's tripped and shit too. He put everything off. It was a nice size. It was 100% of people. Look. Mm -hmm. I saw him on the other hook. He jumped up and everything. It was like minimum the size that you last got. Minimum. With that, with that jump, okay. with the jump. She got there, baby. Come, big boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward this way. Walk forward that way. Flip him. Nice. Oh, damn, Sean. Damn. There you go. <laughs> and another one. One, Sean, three, Nina. <laughs> Let's go. Good job, baby. That's a nice one. Money came off the hook. Oh, even better. Damn, yeah, baby. Hi, baby. Fuck yeah. Getting beat down, getting burnt by the sun. Let's see how we did. We did catch Mahi as you've been watching. Let's see our catch and see what we ended up with. All right. Oh, that's nice. Nice. That is nice. I like putting it in size order, makes it look more uniformed. Alright guys. Alright everyone, welcome back. Today is the next day. Ready to fillet these mahis up. We got the boat out of the water. So filleting mahi. What I like to do is, I like to outline the head meat first and then I'll 
run the knife down the spine. It's important that you don't rush. I know everyone likes to look fancy and whip through this. If you're really good, go for it. But if you wanna not mess up, take your time, guys. I always take my time when I'm filleting mine. Because every bit counts. Next thing, I'll just outline and then take the skin off simply by ripping it off. Flip them over, repeat the same process. Outline the head meat. Work them down the spine. And what we're doing is removing, not the filet yet, but we're just outlining the skin so that we can take the skin off and get a nice filet. Go around the stomach. the knife down the spine separating the fillet from the bones first fillet up you can see we didn't really leave any, leave any bones I mean we didn't leave any meat this side we'll repeat the same process on this side We'll do the same thing to each and every one of these guys. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. This is all we have for you. Just stay tuned. We're going to continue going fishing. We just had a really big move and a really big change in our lives. So just stay tuned and thank you guys for watching.